Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on this video, all the normal stuff. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, as you can see from the title of the video, this is another little London vlog and not just any London vlog. Um, it's also my birthday in two days, so I've got a lot of fun things planned. I'm really happy to be traveling outside of Dubai this summer and it feels, yeah, I, I mentioned it a couple of times actually in my other videos, but I feel like this it feels different this summer because the past few years when I've been traveling, I've been so in a mode of kind of, I want to say anxiety, let's call it what it is, um, really unable to turn off and relax, really unable to fully enjoy where I was because I had so much going on and, and, and that kind of thing. Whereas this summer, it does feel really different. It feels like I have been able to take some time off. For example, I took a week off social media. Um, I'm not doing so much kind of um, client work and just actually allowing myself time off to rest is is amazing but I do want to apologize because I've, I've I took some time off to rest to rest and then I just kept pushing back when I was going to come back onto YouTube um but I'm back and um you'll have seen there's been a couple of videos up already anyway with the theme of kind of keeping mentally well and looking after oneself when traveling I'm about to it's the morning now by the way so Good morning, my favorite kind. My favorite time of day. Seriously, is my favorite time of day. I'm about to have one of my Magic Mind um, mental performance shots. So today is Friday. I do have work to be doing today. I basically want to finish all of my to-do list um, before the weekend, so that I'm obviously not thinking about anything over my birthday weekend. And at the same time, I got back from Barcelona last week, and I feel like I've been feeling a bit. I don't know tired partially because i've been traveling partially because it's my luteal phase i feel like i need a bit, um a bit, a bit extra oomph today and i don't want to rely on caffeine to do that because when i've been researching researching when i've been researching how best to kind of look up look after oneself during um luteal phase and you know coming towards that time of the month for us ladies we don't want to be relying on like caffeine to get us through that is going to stress our body um you've probably heard me talk about magic mind um quite a few times now um and i absolutely love them partially because of all their amazing uh, benefits for mental clarity and energy and focus but also because they just taste amazing. So I'm gonna show you how I like to have mine. Um, and as a reminder, there is a code for you in the description and a link for you to check out. Um, you can use the code Mabel20 because um, I'm so glad to just have this, to be able to share this with you guys, honestly. It's so good. I just love being able to do stuff like this because this is something that I genuinely love. And this is just like a real peek into how I'm managing with remote work and traveling and taking four months off over the summer. So anyway, let's make it. Okay, guys, so here is the box. They come in a pack like this um, and you can also read a little bit about them. I would definitely say check out their Instagram because I love their Instagram content as well. Um, you can just drink it chilled from the bottle, but I prefer to have mine with a bit of ice and a bit of soy milk. This soy milk is, sorry, I'm doing it one-handed. So um, this soy milk is a great one because it's all organic and there's no nasties in it. Where's the ingredients? There we go, see? So I'm keeping it very clean. Um, I always like to shop for a soy milk that's got no nasties in it. So yeah, I've just got some ice in my cup. So it's kind of difficult to do one-handed, so I just took the camera off for a minute. So I'm actually going to have, I think I'm going to have half of one today. Um, you can, so when I first tried them, I noticed that I had like so much energy. Um, and I think that just goes to show kind of the power of them. I think for now, since this is just a little cup of soy milk, I'm actually just going to have half and that's probably going to be perfect for me. The perfect amount. Um, so guys, like I said, you can head to the link in the description and use my code if you are interested in checking out Magic Mind. I love it. It's so good. And I'm quite fussy about my matcha as well. Um, anyway, so what do I have to do today? I literally... So what do I have to do today? I literally have just made a little list, another list. I've obviously got all my work to do lists and stuff, but then I also made a separate list because I feel like I just have some life admin to do. And the big one is packing for my trip to Turkey, which is on Tuesday. I can't believe how quick it's coming around. And yeah, like I said, I just want to finish work stuff. Um, oh, matcha break, sorry. 
I'm finishing work stuff. But I'm glad I've got no calls today. I've got a clear day. I've got a clear day. The goal of today is literally just to tick things off the to-do list. And then in the evening, I'm I think I'm going to go and meet up with my friend Jenny um, in central London for maybe a little drink, which would be nice. It's kind of the start of the birthday celebrations as well. Um but yeah, guys, I've kind of got like period cramps. Sorry if that's too much information, but seriously, it's one of these days where I'm just like, ow, and I know my period is coming any day now, so I'm just like, oh, ouch, ouch. So I do want to take it easy. And you know what taking it easy means to me? Is a little, it's a little delicious little treat. And since I'm in London, which has such good vegan treats, I'm kind of like, do I go and get myself a little croissant? A little pastry situation? from the place around the corner that I know does them, I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a great Friday treat. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, the thing about Magic Mind as well is that you don't need to give up your coffee at all. It's not trying to replace coffee completely. If you're a coffee lover like me, um, it says that you can kind of basically have it alongside your daily cup of coffee. And yes, I do limit myself to just one. I used to be the kind of person that would have several cups of coffee throughout the day but I don't do that anymore um I just have one every morning and that's like my oh, it's just like I love it I love that time of day I love my daily coffee um so yeah this is not to replace my daily coffee this is just kind of goes alongside it so I think I'm gonna finish this have a little look do a bit of replying replying to dms replying to some emails, and then I'm gonna pop around the corner. It's actually a be beautiful sunny morning in London. I think I'm gonna pop around the corner and get myself a little croissant as a little treat. And I've already had my usual breakfast. Most of you guys all know what it is. It's spinach, it's tempeh, it's all that stuff. And I've had a protein shake. So according to Glucose Goddess, um, you know, it's all about the order in which you eat food. Um, I've talked about this so much, I'm not going to go through it again, but I do, I've literally got it on the table here with me because I just told my mum about it and she's gone out and bought the book that I recommended. Um, I would have lent it to her, but I read it on my Kindle. But yeah, this is the book you need to be reading, guys. Anyway, so because I've already had my main breakfast, I think I can now squeeze in a little croissant and my blood sugar is not going to mind, so... little here she is my London girl Um, and just talking about all things life. Jenny's giving me a lot of life advice and just, you know, trying. literally, trying. as Miley yeah. Cyrus says, it's the climb. It's the climb. <laughs> just how many people do this one it's actually crazy and I'd never done one before so that was good good way to start the weekend I'm a bit sweaty now I'm gonna go home and shower good morning everyone wow I look quite glam considering I've actually done a 5k this morning but I've just showered and got ready and I'm now gonna pop to my favorite little coffee coffee place around the corner for to kick off the weekend with a lovely cappuccino and i think if i'm not wrong i think i remember them saying that they have like extra vegan options pastry wise on the weekend so i'm kind of hoping they have 
maybe like a croissant, maybe a chocolate croissant, but if not, I might just get a little Danish, which is exactly what I did yesterday, but you know guys, I've done my run, I know I'm going to be hungry all day today, I've had my veggie breakfast already, so let's do it. And I've just been making a banner because me and my mum are going to go to a march today, a ceasefire and stop arming Israel march that's been organised in central London today, so we're going to go to that. So my mum made a banner yesterday and I just made one this morning. And yeah, I'm interested to see what that will be like, I hope it's a good turnout. I think it really is important to do these kinds of things for things that you believe in so heading to that today and then later on I'm not really sure I might do something with my sister Nora because mum and Andrew are going to the first right so I think they're going to be out so I'm wondering what I can do with Nora maybe something just chill maybe go to the cinema maybe even just watching a nice movie at home and um, we actually watch um, she had never seen the Hunger Games randomly, so we watched two of those this week, and I was literally the biggest Hunger Games fan when I was a kid. So maybe we'll even watch the, the third one or something. Um, and yeah, that's how my day is looking, and it's my last day of being 25. It's my birthday tomorrow, so it's all good vibes for the weekend. Oh, that's something else I need to do, actually. I need to edit my Barcelona video because I feel like I've been so lazy with everything and I do want to get some more videos live, so. Hi guys. Me your banners. Very good, very good. And here's mine. Off we go. Very important. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You can do a shift on both. Yeah. <laughs> we just went past 10 Downing Street. Here's Nori as well with her banner. There is loads of people here, which is great. And you can also donate. There's a lot of people giving information. Um, there's just lots going on. right at the front and they said that there's 150,000 people here today which is an amazing turnout and really incredible to be a part of um, we've been listening to some of the speakers there was a poem read there was a minute silence um, it's been very powerful very glad to be here for sure Good. That's so good. Amazing. <laughs> Go round it, Mum. <laughs> Well, I had a nice lunch. Actually, I say that, I feel like my standards are very high for vegan food, in London especially. I'm gonna give it like a 7.5 out of 10, which considering 
the food in London is so good that's not actually amazing but I do love pottery so it scored a few points there and then I feel like it's uh, it would be an incomplete trip for me if I didn't get a blank street matcha and I went for the blueberry one. Oh my god it's so 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 good and now I'm just gonna head towards Covent Garden I think to just reach about and just yeah soak in the soak in the London vibes um, even though it's Saturday and it's super super busy in the centre of London but oh well that maybe I'll do some shopping window shopping oh my god I just realised I'm stood right in front of Mean Girls I really really want to go see that I think it's opening this week you, know, you guys know that I love 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 a musical I was actually just having a scroll on um, Today Ticks to see if I could get any last minute fish ticket deals because that would be such a fun thing to do even if it's just on my own you know don't mind going alone don't mind doing doing a little solo date I've done that before when I've been in London and just got a last minute ticket to something and I actually kind of love that you know like I'm in the era of doing things on my own so might have another little look but for now yeah I'm just going to look in some shops they have loads of really nice shops around here so Let's so have a browse, see what we can find. Kind of uh, going into tourist mode, which I don't mind at all, to be honest. I feel like Covent Garden always reminds me of Christmas because me and my mum and my sister would always come around Christmas time. And in fact, even I think, yeah, when me and the girls came to London at Christmas, we came here. Um, yeah, it's super, super busy, but that's fine. I'm embracing my tourists, because I am a tourist. I love being a tourist in London. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Keep falling in love again yeah. Fuck's wrong with them I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me For a pass out I'm too lonely To be done I'm a drink at this page It is my birthday and I'm here with Peaceful Hello. Meg. Um, we're just coming on to Marlebone High Street. We have been literally talk monologuing at each other for like two hours in two different cafes um, that were right next door to each other, but that's just perfect. Um, and now we're, I was spending, we're basically spending the day in Marlebone and there happens to be, um, oh, what's it? Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah, lovely. We're gonna mooch in some shops. Um, wow, it's super, super busy. I'll just show you guys what's going on behind me. Um, this is a lovely part of London that I've not really spent much time in and I wanted to just explore. So we thought it would be perfect since it's the Summer Festival on the 9th of June, which is my birthday. Um, so how perfect. First, we're looking, should we find Daunt books it's first? Just to the right of okay, cool. So there's this um, very, very famous bookshop on um, Marlebone High Street um, that we're going to go check out first. It's called Daunt Books. Um, oh wow, we are in our element here now. There is a lot going on. Um, but yeah, so this should be a really fun birthday, birthday in London. Oh yes, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yay, there's so much. Gorgeous. Maybe I should buy a new book for my. I've literally got absolutely to. Absolutely buying a book today. Yeah. Do you have anything on your list? No, I'm just going to steal the vibe. Yeah, because I actually bought a few for my holiday. I'm going to Turkey in two days. And I'm like, anything I buy needs to be light yes. <laughs> for the luggage. Yes. Um, but I'll definitely have a look. Oh, 
Oh, there's like poetry on that. Yes, yeah, yeah, I have seen. Oh yeah, let's get it my box. It's a Benjamin Zephaniah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Look how beautiful this is. Both of these, in fact, that's gorgeous. There's a lot of lovely stalls to look round. Look how good they look. Wow. I used to love a red velvet cake. That used to be my fave. Should we see what's happening in there? <clears throat> 9th of June. A beautiful date to host anything. <laughs> <laughs> we just walk past the sign and Meg goes, that's very you. I was saying, Britta, that's very you. Which, very like, it is me, to be fair. And I'm happy that I've built a reputation where that's become <laughs> me. <laughs> but this is so cute. There's a lot of little street food going on. Okay, well, what... Just stopped for a little beverage in um, none other than Selfridges. Look, we're literally in the in the thick of it. And I've gone for a glass of champagne because it's my blooming birthday. <laughs> my vlog as well. We're back at Nat, at our little favourite spot from two years ago with our favourite rigatoni. It all just looks phenomenal. 